Why, hello there! Isn't it nice seeing you there? I'm watching you! Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome to Summer Paradise! Considering the time of year and how it's a new ice age outside where I live, this seems like a very apt time to do something that's summery and warm. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if we never left this town. And by we, I mean you and me. Perhaps I'd still be a country girl. Oh, I'm a girl! I've got a vagina! Who knew nothing about the city? What's the sidewalk? What's the prostitute? Ah! But this place, this place is very precious to me. Like my girl vagina. It has always been my summer paradise. That's two dice, friends, not mono dice. So many memories, so many adventures I'd spent with my childhood friends. Like Huckleberry Finn and Bec Becky Thatcher. She got fat, and we called her Becky Thatcher. And now I'm back to this quiet little crap town. <clears throat> oh, Tarlac, Philippines. Oh, I'm, dang it. I'm sorry to anyone that lives in Tarlac. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced it wrong. I didn't realize they are going to say somewhere that I assume is real. I mean, I know the Philippines is real. I have friends who live in the Philippines. Oh, I'm making this worse and worse for myself. I've always looked at this place as my province. I own you. Was it Tarlac? Like the, um, Starlac, but Tarlac monster? It's, uh, because we transferred to Manila, the country's capital, when I was seven years old. Oh, I have a friend who lives in Manila. Envelope. Uh, we're now back after nine long years. We're not going to stay here for long, go, go. For good, though. <laughs> I just started, my brain was like, I don't know the word good, throw out other words. Just for this summer. I wonder if my old friends still remember me. Of course they remember me. They remember me of the name they used to all call me. Um, Slut Bags. I hope. Oi, oi, Slut Bags, Slut Bags. It's you. You're back. Huh? He looks familiar. Uh, you're a childhood friend of mine, right? Uh-huh. It's me, Arvin. Uh, we were classmates once. Arvin! Ah. Uh, then you're the Arvin who broke my crayons back in kindergarten. Yeah, uh, I guess. Yeah, it was you. You stepped on them, you whore. Hey, uh, I, was, I was just kidding back then. That was a long time ago. You! <laughs> uh, sorry. I missed you! Uh-oh. Even though you broke my crayons, hmm. Wow, that girl carries a grudge. Uh, yeah, um, well, I missed you too. We continue walking down the now cemented streets. So many things have changed. Uh, do you remember when we'd always play here with the other kids? You sucked at, uh, Pantera then, back then. At being Pantera. Pantera? Is that Tagalog? I don't know how to, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm going to just offend a hundred million people, or however many people live in the Philippines. It's a lot. It might not be that many. It's a lot still. <laughs> Damn it, Pentatero. I'm making it worse. I'm just like, look at my ignorance, everybody. Hey, it's right there. If I remember correctly, it's that game where the opposing team will stand in horizontal lines and will try, try, uh, try to touch the defending team. What is this pervy game? You stand in lines and try and touch the other people? I'm gonna grab your going! I'm going for the grab ball win! The defending team will have to go see therapists afterwards. No, they'll try and pass by without being touched by the other team? What the hell is this kind of gauntlet game where you're groping each other? I wish I'd have gone to school there. Yeah, I always sucked at that. I could never grab guy balls. I bet you grabbed lots of them. What are you saying? Every time we would be in the opposing team, I could never reach the defending ones. And whenever you're the one who's trying to pass by the opposing, opposing team, you'd always get touched. Oh, that sounds so bad. So, yeah, ugh, bad memories. Haha, <laughs> but it was always so fun to touch you. Uh, I know. Uh, so how about, uh, to Kip s s l s um, do you still remember that? I should have looked at this game before I started. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, of course, hide and seek in the dark. Oh, that sounds like fun. Is that like you're running? I'll find you! Ow! I'm gonna still find you! Ow! I'm still gonna find you! Ow! God damn it! It was your favorite game, right? Uh, yeah. When you get older, Arvin, the groping game will be more fun. Still is. Wait, you still play that game? Really, Arvin? Uh, well, no. Not, not anymore. Of course I don't. Uh, the last night you stayed here was the last time I played that game. Uh, yeah, only because 
We only played that because you insisted. Yeah, well, I knew we were leaving. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. Forgot what? Uh, I, 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 got, I have an appointment. An appointment? It better not be to masturbate over my hot body. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. With whom? Oh, good job I slept eggs of using the form whom. You still remember James and Mark? James, Mark? Yeah, I think I do. Uh, well, what are you waiting for? Come on me. I mean, with me. Wait, what? Where are we going? To where they are, duh. I was just about to go there, actually. What? Yeah, I was supposed to hang out with them today. A zombie? What? Uh, yeah, come on, hurry up. Wait for me. He stops for a minute. To my surprise, he takes my hand. Where's he going to take your hand? And we run like the gods are chasing after us. What have you done to offend the gods? <laughs> what? I assume James is the guy on the left? It's hard for me to tell. Um, I'm going to assume he is. Uh, as always, Arvin is late again. Uh, what do you expect? <laughs> He's always late. <clears throat> My mom said she was late, and I didn't know what she meant. <clears throat> now I got baby brother. Since it's summer, I was kind of hoping he'd move faster. Maybe the heat's making him move even slower. People sometimes say I'm so. But I don't get him. Uh, you know our pal. Uh, he hates the heat. So I don't get why he'd move even slower. Who knows? Well, I'm amazed at the sudden population in this place. They must have been popping out of babies out of vagus for a long time to support this kind of an economy. Everything feels so foreign to me. To me too, main character. I don't know the Tagalog words. I, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I feel stupid. When I left Tarlek, specifically this town, it was a rather small rural area with hardly any buildings. Rural is a hard word to say when I get drunk. And now there's a gasoline station nearby, and a butt stop. Oh, bus stop, I'm sorry. A convenience store, some boutiques, and a drugstore. How about a boutique drugstore? Oh, I'd like some designer aspirin, please. And the highway. I don't remember this highway. Get the fuck off the highway, slut bags. Get off the highway. I crashed into some giant slut bags. So many things have changed. Look, do you see that cafe? Do you see those boys? I bet you like the boys, Arvin. Of course, they're my friends. I turned to head to the direction he was pointing out. I can definitely see two teenage boys talking. Yeah, are those? Uh-huh. We slowed down to a halt and I realized that he was still holding my hand. Hey, guys. <laughs> he lets go of it as soon as the boys turn a direction. They're like, whoa? Finally, uh... We've been waiting for you. Come over here, bro. Arvin glances back at me and he signals for me to follow him. Hey, uh, sorry for the delay, you know. I found this lost zombie looking around the street, so... You know, I was like, hey, uh, I got some brains you can eat. Turns out, um, you guys don't have brains, so I brought her to the wrong place. Lost a zombie? James rolls his eyes and turns to me. He opens his mouth as if to address me, only to look back at his friends. Aw, oh, balls. Alright, so this is James. This is the other guy. That's why in the beginning, it's... Maybe I missed in the character models. It's good to make it easy for the player to know right away who's who. Alright, so this is James. He was the one with the snooty voice, and he's the one with the dumb voice. My mom addresses me like I'm a fancy Count Fauntleroy. <laughs> uh, wait... You look familiar. I, I I think I know you from somewhere. Of course you know me from somewhere. We used to be playmates. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh, then you're slut bags. I could remember your slutty look anywhere. Hey, I missed you, slut bags. Oh, uh, we've all felt that way before. Obviously you missed me. Ah, uh. ah. Uh, come on, I really have. I uh, just couldn't remember your name. You know, there's so many slut bags around this town after all. You call that missing somebody? Ugh! Slut bags, you're kind of needy. Well, now, just because I forgot your name doesn't mean I missed all our happy memories, right? Huh. 
That's no excuse. He broke my crayons. You forgot my name. You guys are just assholes. And don't be mad anymore. I was just bluffing when I said I forgot your name is Slutbags. Of course, I'd never forget you, precious Slutbags. Oh, you. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I kind of do agree with him, though. What? And I know where you're going there, bro. Where? It's uh, impossible that he actually forgot your name, like, for real. Oh, dear, James had a crush on us. Uh, well, you're the only girl I've really been close to, you know. What, when we were four? You watched me poop my pants or something? Uh, yeah, up until now, he still can't find any female friends. Well, you know, other than uh, the other guy here. That's not funny, huh? Well, what about, um, uh, Anna? Anna? Uh, the only things those girls talk about are fashion, photography, and models. It's not like I can relate to them. True that, bro. Luckily, three of us have each other. Don't let any women ruin that. Mark, Vin Vin, and me. Hey, don't call me Vin Vin. Ha, uh, I forgot. Vin Vin's your nickname, right? That was from, like, nine years ago. We're 16 years old now. So don't call me Vin Vin. Oh, poor Vin Vin's upset. Oh, James sticks out his tongue at Arvin. Apparently he doesn't have much tongue because it doesn't come out very far. The latter stands up laughing and starts chasing the former around the cafe. Such frivolence. Thank goodness we were seated on the outside tables. Mm, they still ain't grown much. My mama says someday I'm going to grow up and be a big, strong man, just like my daddy. My daddy left us, though. Yeah, um, okay. Mark, um... Hmm? Nothing, nothing. Oh my, why is my heart beating so fast? I totally forgot that I always had a crush on Mark since we were young. But it's been nine years. I haven't felt this in such a long time. I hope she means the heart feeling and not putting her hands in her pants. I can't believe this! When did you arrive? Hmm. My mama said I arrived because a stork brought me. And it dropped me on the head. And to tell Child Protective Services that if they ever asked if she hit me. Um, I got here last night. Are you spending your senior year here? Hmm. No, we're just going to stay here for like three weeks. I wish it was longer, though. I see. So, like, how's life? What? Life. What do you say? Life. I can't understand. Wife? I don't have a wife. No, life starts with letter L. Life? Yeah, hmm. Um, it's it's just great. I sorta I sorta miss this place though. Yeah, this restaurant's pretty nice. No, I didn't mean the restaurant. I mean I, I'm just a bit surprised too with the development of this town and all. I like this table particularly. No, I mean the town. You know where well, yeah, I guess it's expected. You'd miss the town. You spent time in. Tardex changed a lot since you left. Even the people's changed. People will do that when you're not looking, I find out. Luckily, some people still haven't. My grandpa's still the same. He gazes silently at the two boys still running around. Sure, some people haven't changed at all. I don't think Mark's gotten any smarter since kindergarten. But some other person I know has. Hey, hey, so, uh, Mark, how, how are things here? Just fine. You can sit in my chair if you want. Then you don't know what it's like to sit here. Um, and the conversation ends here, I suppose. James is still the same. Turns out I'm wrong. Still wacky. Still a prankster. Still so childish. Arvin's become more mature, but he still tends to play around with James. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Uh... And you? Oh, I don't touch James and me. I guess I've changed a bit. <clears throat> a bit? He wasn't this indifferent before. 
Well, what did he do before? Fawn over every word you had? Did he maybe doe and deer over him too? And Vin Vin is a meanie! Oh. You asked for it, bitch! What happened? <laughs> he he bonked me on the head. Oh, shut the hell up, James. Bonked? You like getting bonked. What kind of word is that? Oh, slut bag, stop being judgmental. I don't know. It's the first word that came to my mind. I might have brain damage from how hard he bonked me. Oh. I don't think that's a legitimate word, James. Who are you, the word police, Mark? But when I heard it on TV... Uh... Uh... uh okay, then. It's the real word. Hmm. I knew it! Oh, how I miss these guys! We continued chatting until the sky turned orange and fire flew out of the sky. Oh, wait, no, orange and pink. Bye, Slip Big. See you again tomorrow! And I think that's where we're going to say goodbye for episode one of Summer Paradise. Um, in episode two, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe we'll learn more about the mysterious Mark. The, um,. Arvin, Arvin seems kind of cool, or the weird and annoying, uh, who's the other guy? Jimmy James? I'll see, oh, and maybe next time I can mispronounce more Tagalog words, words or whatever. I can't even, I mispronounced the word words! I'm gonna go now before I embarrass myself further. Have a good day!